Hey, welcome to the webinar, How to Get Customers Beating a Path to Your Door on Autopilot Without Putting More on Your Plate. I would imagine if you're here, this is because you are overworked and sometimes overwhelmed. I know I sure was. I had to find a solution to that, which I'm going to share with you on this webinar. And I am super stoked and super excited to share it with you. Never really shared it with anyone before, but I think the time is now. It's time for all of us with our bars and restaurants to have customers coming to us on autopilot so that we can serve more people, enjoy our businesses more, and enjoy increased sales and profitability, the reason we started our business in the first place. So that's what I'm going to show you today. I also am going to share my weird secret that had us turning folks away at the door so the fire marshal wouldn't shut us down and how you can ethically knock it off in less than 10 minutes to fill your bar and restaurant every night too. Want to make a quick earnings disclaimer as we get started? I can guarantee you're not going to get 10,000 customers first day lining up at your door. When I got started doing this, I just wanted to get some new customers coming to us. I was in a new business and I was tired of people telling me that the only way to get business was to discount my prices or get discounting is by far not the only way to get people into your business and so I wanted to learn more and explore more and try new things in my business that didn't dig into my profitability it didn't cut into my cash flow which sometimes let's be honest was horrific sometimes I I couldn't hardly make payroll much less did I have cash flow and so I needed to solve that problem for my business I want to get customers coming to me on autopilot I don't know about you, but I was swamped, busy, working all the time to get my business up and running and to make sure my restaurant was profitable and that all of the little cogs and wheels that had to work together worked together smoothly so that I could provide the people that did come in with a good experience and a good meal. I was so busy doing all the things that were involved in that, I didn't have time to think of ways to encourage customers or get customers to come to my business. I knew I needed to. I just had no idea how to go about making it happen. So I figured if I could do it on autopilot, that would be like the holy grail for me. I decided I just wanted to get like 10 new customers a day coming to my business. I figured 10 new people a day, that'd be like 300 people a month, like 3,600 people a year. I'm like 3,600 people, new people coming to my business. Well, heck, some of them would be bound to come back again. Some of them would tell their friends. Some of them would come back and spend more money. I figured that that would help me on the slow nights and it would ensure my profitability and cash flow for the long haul. So that was my initial plan and goal. What ended up happening is we created this system that we put in place in all 17 of our businesses. And we now have 17 businesses running this, what we call customers catcher. And each one of them is adding between 10 and 344 customers per day. Now, what would that do for your business? Can you imagine having between 10 and 300, 350 new customers a day being attracted to your business on autopilot? What would that do for your cash flow? What would that do for your sales? What would that do for your profitability? I can tell you from personal experience, it's done incredible things for my businesses, my cash flow, my profitability, and my lifestyle. But it's not just me. Thomas was one of our first businesses to test customer catchers for his restaurant. In just seven months, our worst performing restaurant became the most profitable. What started as a test has been rolled out in all our locations and put our expansion plans on steroids. When Thomas came to me, they had one restaurant out of 12 that was less than half the revenue of any of the others. And they were thinking about closing that location down. And so I, I challenged him and I said, you know, Thomas, let me, let me test out my system and see what it can do for your business. Well, Within about six months, that restaurant became the best performing, most profitable in the chain of 12, and they've since rolled it out in all 12 and now added three more restaurants to their chain. I want to ask you right off the bat to make me one promise as I go through this information and I share some things with you. Some of the strategies and things that I've learned over the years are really, really powerful, and they can be used to make your business awesome and better and successful and super competitive, but they can also be used to hurt other businesses if, if you so choose. And I'm just going to ask that you promise me that you won't use any of the things that I'm going to teach you to hurt anybody else or any other businesses. You'll just use them to provide a better experience for your customers and to make your business profitable and awesome. If I can get your word on that, we'll go ahead and, and move forward. Great. Thanks a lot, you guys, for, for putting in the chat box that, that, of course, you wouldn't do anything evil. Yeah, like I believe that. <laughs> 
So who is this for? Who is this getting customers on autopilot for anyway? Well, if you have a restaurant or bar already in a bar business, then this is for you. That's that's why I designed and wrote this for. I, I created it for my bar and restaurant business, and that's why I know it'll work for yours. If you don't have a business yet, a restaurant or bar yet, this will work for you. It helps you set everything up right in the first place so that you hit the ground running, and right from the get-go, you have things in place so that will virtually guarantee your success. And just to let y'all know, this isn't just for restaurants and bars. I've actually used it in other types of businesses and other industries, and it's just as effective in those industries and those type businesses as it is my restaurants and bars. The reason I wanted to roll it out to restaurant and bar owners like you is because I know how underrepresented we are in the online world and that these tools are really something that we need desperately as an industry. Our industry has one of the highest failure rates for businesses and business startups for profitability and for long-term viability. We have at least a 97% failure rate. 97% of us who start our bars and restaurants fail in the first five years. Now, 90 to 95% of businesses that start fail in their first five years. But restaurants has like the worst statistics or almost the worst statistics of any category. And there's a lot of reasons for that, but what I'm about to teach you can really alleviate and eliminate some of those reasons and ensure that many, many, many more people are successful. And I want that for our industry. So what the heck is a customer catcher and do I need one for my company? Does my restaurant need a customer catcher? Why do I want customers? Well, look at these two pictures of these two young ladies and think of it this way. Who do you think got more dates and attracted more positive attention from gentlemen in high school? The girl in the tank top on the left or the interesting girl with the red heart sucker on the right? I don't know about you, but in my high school, the girl on the left would have had far more dates and far more gentlemen callers and attention than the girl on the right. Now, being a, a nerd and kind of a geek in high school, I was probably more like the girl on the right than I like to admit. But... It's the same for our businesses. If we can get our ideal customers coming to us, if we can attract them to us, it's a lot more fun and a better experience than if we have to go chasing after them and doing crazy things and discounting and things to try to get their attention. So if you want to make money and if you want folks lining up at your business ready to spend money, then yes, you want a customer's catcher for your business. You want customers coming to your business on autopilot and you want to be able to handle those customers and and generate sales on autopilot for your business. So my goal for this web class is twofold, and it's to show you that the only way for you to exponentially grow your restaurant and bar is through handling customers on autopilot, and secondly, that the only way to automate your customer's handling is through customer's catchers. Now I promise you a gift for staying to the end, and I am going to give you that. I call it the Blue Plate Special, and I'm not gonna tell you what the Blue Plate Special is because that would ruin the surprise, and I want you to stay to the end. I want you to hear this material because I am confident that there are things that you will hear that you can apply to your business today that will make a difference in your sales, your ability to attract customers, and in your profitability. So go ahead, stay till the end, and you will get access to the Blue Plate Special. Everybody who stays to the end will get access to that. When I ask that you pay attention, one of the things I always think I'm good at is multitasking, and the truth is I'm not. And I always used to say that that's just because men aren't good at multitasking, but you know what? Neither are women. If we want to learn something, if I want to learn something or know something, I need to give it my undivided attention. I need to focus on it. I need to pay attention. I need to turn off my phone. I need to shut the door. I need to keep the puppies and the kittens out. I need to really focus and listen. And the fact that you're here tells me that there's something you need to hear. There's something I'm going to share today that you need to hear for yourself or for your customers or for your business. I don't know who it is, but I know for a fact that the reason you were attracted to this is because there's some reason you need to pay attention and you owe it to yourself to pay attention and you owe it to your customers to pay attention. So turn off all your distractions and let's rock and roll. So Sharon horn who the heck is she? Who the heck am I? And why should you listen to me? Well, I've been the key player in seven different restaurant groups, either as the owner or part owner. Anything from pizza places, Italian fine dining, sports bars, steakhouse, malt shop, comedy corner, nightclub, uh, you name it. I've probably had at least my toes involved in it. I've worked in various industries in the food chain and outside of the food chain. Uh, from suppliers, manufacturers, service providers, uh, you name it, I've probably been 
been involved in the industry in some way, shape, or form, either as a customer or a supplier. I've performed most jobs and tasks in restaurants and bars, from remodeling to cleaning the toilets, taking out the trash, all things managerial, operational, ownership, um, human resources, financial, purchasing, receiving, inventory, taxes, you name it, I've had to do it. And I've done that for a couple of reasons. One, I believe that you shouldn't ask anybody to do anything in your business that you wouldn't be willing to do yourself. That's just kind of the way I was raised and I actually believe that. And the other part of that is the best way to understand and know how things work and how they get done, how they really get done, how they need to really get done, and how you can improve on how things are done is by actually getting your hands dirty and doing it yourself. And over the last 40 years, yeah, you heard that right, 40 years of experience, I had my first business when I was 13, and I'm not going to tell you exactly how old I am, but you know I'm at least 53, right? Um, when I was 13, I had a an ice business, an ice manufacturing and sales business, and I've been involved in a lot of different industries. And over those industries and over those years and over those jobs in corporate America and and being an entrepreneur, I've had amazing coaches and mentors, uh, and they've taught me so much. And all of that's kind of come together to help me create what I'm sharing with you today. I've actually made and saved companies, including my own, tens of millions of dollars. Well, as if I'm honest, over 40 years, it's got to be over 100 million dollars. So that's a lot of money, and much, much more. So it's just a little bit about me. Here's just some screenshots of me and my friends, and some of the cool things I get to do, and the, the incredible people I get to hang out with now, because I've actually used this system to free up some of my time so I can do some of the things that I've always wanted to do, which is kind of the reason I started my own business in, in the first place. So a little bit about my backstory, I guess. Now, you know, kind of the journey of where I've come, where I am now, but I want to make sure that you understand where I've come from. I don't know why you started your own bar or restaurant, and we all have slightly different backgrounds, but maybe you guys can relate to a little bit of what I've been through. I worked in, went to college, you know, went to high school, went to college. I grew up believing in the era that you work hard, you study hard, you get good grades, go to college, get a job, you work at a, a corporate job for 35, 40 years, and then you retire with your gold watch and a pension. Well, needless to say, even while I was going to college, that paradigm was probably dying or dead by a, a couple of decades, but we continued to train and teach people that way. So I was on about my, I don't know, fifth or sixth or seventh corporate job and found myself in my car driving home with tears running down my cheeks because I had just been fired um, I, and I'd been laid off but let's be honest whatever whatever they call it when they're letting you go and you don't have a job anymore whether they say you're laid off let go downsize early retirement um, whatever they call it it you still don't have a job and so it still feels like getting fired and so even though I put a brave face on for my boss and for my my co-workers, when I'm cleaning out my office, when I hit the car, the floodgates opened and I, you know, I was crying. I was upset. And so I'm driving in traffic, wiping tears off my cheeks, trying not to, you know, have the neighbor cars see me crying because part of my daily routine in corporate America was between one and a half and three hour commute twice a day. So I, I had a dilemma. I was upset about getting fired, as, you know, most people are. I mean, if you, if you lose a job or lose a company, and, and I've lost companies. I've had companies go on out of business before, and that hurts, too. There's different things that happen in our lives that hurt our egos. And mostly it was my ego that was hurt by being fired. Let's, you know, I, I felt bad. I, I, I don't know how else to describe it. I had the pit in my stomach. My husband had recently been uh, lost his job because his company actually went out of business, and so he and all of his co-workers and friends had been let go and they hadn't found jobs yet. And so not only did I just get fired and lose my job, but I knew my husband had lost his job too. And so that, that was adding stress and, and strain to what I was thinking because I knew we were in a tight spot. I, I wasn't offered a very big severance package. And so the whole drive home, I'm shaking and I'm trying to figure out, okay, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? And I remembered as I'm driving, um, you know, to think about, well, what do I want? What do I really want in this situation right now? Well, I wanted to make money because I knew we needed money. My kids like to eat and I like to eat and my husband liked to eat. And I want to be able to hang out with, with my children. These are just pictures of my kids and my granddaughter. I want to be able to spend time with people I love and care about and make money. I think a lot of us start our businesses because of that. But then we're, it's not very long before we find that our business consumes us. And even when we start our own business, I don't know how many of my peers and friends I've talked to them and we'll 
commiserate that all we do is work. Well, because instead of setting our businesses up as businesses and working on our businesses, we end up working in our businesses and doing a little bit of everything. And so we don't actually create a plan and a structure of how our business should run and how it should grow. And we end up actually almost having a job, but we're our own boss and there's a whole lot of things that go along with that. I know in some of my businesses, I was always the last person to get paid, and, and that's not a good feeling either. But that's a, that's a, another story. So as I'm driving home, I'm thinking about, well, what am I going to do? And I knew that I needed to find some kind of structure around what I was feeling, or I was just going to cry and be upset the whole way home, and that wouldn't be a very good way to greet my family after a stressful day. So <clears throat> I remembered a thing that I taught all my employees and my kids. I actually just went through this with uh, my daughter and her husband this week weekend. It's a, a little problem solving decision making system or tool. And I'm sure I learned it from my father, but it's it's one of those things that's so simple, but almost nobody actually uses it that I pull out of my toolbox all the time and I use. Now the fact that I know PSDM tells you what kind of a nerd I am because I don't think anybody uses the term PSDM except someone who's been in, in my field in, in corporate America or in quality. But anyway, it's just a little problem-solving tool or a decision-making tool. And really, all you do is you take a piece of paper, either draw a line down the center or fold it in half, put a plus on one side, a minus on the other, decision that you need to make on the top, and mine was, I'll share it on the next slide, um, and then you list all the reasons for your decision and all the reasons against it. And whichever side weighs more is, is usually the decision that you go with. But you're consciously considering the, the pros and cons of a decision. You're not just emotionally deciding something without actually thinking it through. So I was doing this in the car on my way home. And my choice was, do I want a job hunt or do I want to finally take the leap of faith and create the business of my dreams, my own business? Now, <clears throat> part of why I was stressed out is my sister and I had been doing sort of a side hustle. We had um, purchased an Italian food manufacturing company from a gentleman that I was in another business with, long story, um, not important. Um, and although that's not us in the picture, I wish it was, we had been running this business for several years, but I was still in corporate America because we hadn't set it up to support both of our families. We hadn't decided or figured out how to grow the business and make it work so that it could support both our families. So since I was already in corporate America when we bought the business, I decided I would stay in corporate America and do my corporate America gig and, and be kind of the silent helping financial backing um, business strategy partner. And she would do the day-to-day -day operations. Well, my husband and I, um, had invested in this business. So all of our savings was tied up in this business and neither of us now had a job. So I was looking at, do I go job hunt, spend time in traffic, get back on that down escalator? Because it seemed like even though I did a good job finding jobs, and I did a great job at the companies I worked for. I was starting over every five years or so. And that always felt like ground zero. And that wasn't a good feeling. I didn't feel like my career was going or taking me where it should. I, I, I felt like I had more to contribute to the world than what I was doing in my corporate jobs. So by the time I got home, I already knew what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to, you know, take that leap of faith and actually burn my bridges and, and go ahead and go for the business, go for figuring out how to strategize and grow that business to the point where it would support both our families so that I didn't have to go back to corporate America and I didn't have to job hunt. Now, admit I did job hunt a little. I did go on a couple of interviews and I did have a couple of offers, but I didn't take them. I, I knew that in my heart that wasn't the right road for me. Unfortunately, my J-O-B, my just over broke, had only afforded me a two-week severance package. I hadn't been with the company but five years, and that's all they offered. Five years and less got two weeks of severance, which is, okay, really pretty pathetic, but it was better than nothing. And I knew that 
we needed to do something fast because we went from just over broke to just and under broke in a matter of weeks. Um, we had built a new house before my husband lost his job. And as I mentioned, my kids and I and my husband, we like to eat at least once a day. So our situation was pretty dire. We needed to come up with something fast. We needed to either, you know, come up with something drastic like rob a bank, which neither my husband and I were qualified to, to rob a bank, or we were going to have to ask my parents for help and for a loan to tide us over until we got the business going and could support our, our, ourselves. I mean, we didn't want to lose our house. We put our blood, sweat, and tears into it and all of the money that we had between that and the business. And <clears throat> we didn't want to lose all that, of course. Now, fortunately, I have parents that I could ask for a loan, and they were in a position to help us and, and help us um, make a go of the business. But what, that's probably one of the hardest things I've ever had to do was asked my dad if he could lend me money to feed my family and pay my bills, my car payments and my house payments while I got the business going. My dad, you know, I, I knew I was going to get the, the lecture. I, I was over 40 when this happened at this time, and it it's hard. My ego was devastated, and my heart was breaking because I had to, you know, I wasn't groveling, but it's really hard for me to ask for help anyway, but to have to ask for money. I know a lot of us grow up with all these weird beliefs about money, and I was no different. I grew up with strange beliefs about money. My mom is a total pessimist. We were always broke, and my dad is a, a total optimist. We were always, you know, super rich and, and abundant. And so I grew up in the middle of that dichotomy, and frankly, I have some schizophrenic beliefs about money, or I used to. So having to ask my dad for money and for help was, was really hard and really devastating. But, but fortunately, he did lend us the money. We didn't lose our house. Um, the kids ate and still got to participate in the things that they like to do in their activities. So that was all awesome. Um, but I hated owing my parents money. I hated every single day and minute of owing my parents money. And so it was stressful because I didn't really know how to build this business, to supersize this business so that it would support our families. I wasn't sure how to get customers coming to us on autopilot and what to do. Or if, I didn't even know that's what we needed to do at the time. Let's be honest. I just wanted more sales and more money coming in. And I was looking for ways to economize and do things myself and save money and do things faster, cheaper, more efficiently so that we could have more profits so that the business would support us. And it, it was a really stressful trying time until, and I was, ha I seriously was losing sleep. I was working all the time. I wasn't eating right. I wasn't taking care of myself. And I wasn't sleeping. I was waking up and, and stressed out once I did finally get to sleep. And one night I woke up, it's like 2.30 in the morning, and I'm just in this cold sweat. And I sat bolt upright in bed, and I'm like, oh, my God. And I... I think I dreamt it, but it reminded me of conversation that I have with my dad and that we have with my dad every single year. For 25 years about at the, at the time that I had this dream, we'd been selling fireworks every summer as a family. My dad had started, he, he had us do Christmas trees one year and wreaths and all kinds of things over the years. He was very entrepreneurial. Um, and so he was always, he always had some kind of businesses going, but he, one of the businesses was a fireworks business. He got us selling fireworks, and the purpose of that business was to put our kids through college. He wanted to make sure that we could afford to put our kids through college and they, they and we wouldn't be strapped with huge student loans. So we all came together, no matter what we were doing in our, our lives, our daily lives, like me in corporate America, every summer and every night after work in for a month in the summer and every weekend, we all came together and we sold fireworks. And... <laughs> My dad had this old leather swivel chair that he would sit in in the back. And every year, at least a couple of times, once for sure, he'd just look around delighted with a beer in his hand because back in the day we could sneak beers. Um, and he'd be like, kids, it's a feeding frenzy. And he'd be all grinny because it was. 
early on, we had a liquor business too, and so we would use beer flats, if y'all know what a beer flat is. Um, and that was our shopping carts. And so people would have these beer flats loaded to the brim with fireworks, and they were throwing them in there and grabbing them as fast as they could and going up to the checkout stand. And it was a feeding frenzy. He'd say, it's like shooting fish in a barrel because year after year, the same people would come back to our little stands and shop from us. And there's reasons for that, which I, I finally uncovered and learned that I then knew exactly what to do. I needed to create an ongoing feeding frenzy for, for my business. I needed to go from our make a little, sell a little philosophy, which wasn't supporting mine and my sister's family, to a how are we going to create a feeding frenzy in this business to get customers coming to us. So I began looking for all the possible ways that I could attract customers to, to my business. You know, some things worked. A lot of things didn't. And we're a total waste of time and energy and money. And back then, I didn't have the energy to waste. So it was really frustrating. I think that's where my... Um, dislike of salesmen who overpromise and underdeliver came from. That is one of my huge pet peeves. And I think it came from that time period when I was investigating and trying to find ways to grow my business. And I had some of these Yahoo salesmen and consultants, business consultants that came to my business and really just messed with me and my, my mind and my business and, and promised the world and delivered nothing. But I soon figured out that the secret to having a successful, profitable, growing business is to get customers coming to you. And my goal then became to get customers coming to our business, but then any way I could continuously improve that process. And if I could automate that, that was what I was really seeking to do. So my secret plan became, how do I do this for my business? And then once I figured that out, can I make it work for other businesses? Can I make it work for other businesses in the family and other businesses that my husband and I have? At the time, after the Italian food business got rolling, we started several real estate businesses, restaurants, bars, you name it. We were involved in a lot of different things. And I wanted to be able to use these principles and these strategies for all the different businesses. So that became my plan. And it wasn't really secret because I had teams of 10 people at least or more working on this little strategy and plan at any given time. But each one, the problem was, is it took a lot of people to, to put this system together because it, it's a process. It's a system that has a lot of moving parts and needed a lot of people and, and different technologies and skills and strategies and techniques. It was expensive. It, it cost me between 35 and $50,000 each. I think the the first one for the Italian food business was more like $55,000, $60,000 to put that system together. And that one took us about five months. We got better and better at it as we applied it to the different businesses, but it still took between two and four months to put one of these together for our businesses. That's a lot of time, a lot of money, and a lot of people, and a lot of resources tied up in producing one of these systems that will attract and handle customers automatically. But what's possible now because of figuring this out is I had my best sales day ever. I did $797,000 in one day. Um, here's a picture of my house, paid for that. Cabin, uh, my kids, my son loves to travel. That's him on Everest and going on a trip. And then my daughter went to photography school, one of my vehicles. And that vehicle actually just burnt on fire last weekend. So... I'm actually glad I have that picture in here. But it's also afforded me the opportunity to do things like get my nails done, which was always a fantasy for me, enjoy fresh flowers, and go for walks at the park, and, and get outdoors and do the things I love to do, and hang out with incredibly cool people and have cool events. The best part is, because I figured this out, I figured out how to create a feeding frenzy for my businesses, I was able to spend the first year watching my granddaughter, my first granddaughter, my first grandchild. It's my granddaughter, and I was able to hang out with her five days a week for the first year of her life. And to me, that was priceless. That's that's the kind of experiences that I really wanted to. That's that's one of the reasons I wanted to have my own business. That's my 
one of my whys, the people I love and care about and impacting their lives, that's the biggest why for me and why I do what I do. And, and being able to do that because of this system, that was incredible. And, and I, I don't, I guess I don't even have words for it because that's why we do what we do is so that we can spend time with and help people we love and care about. So after 40 years, and really it was about 15, I discovered the hard way to do all this attract customers and handle customers for my business. And if you're struggling getting rest in your restaurant with sales or profitability or, or slow nights or cash flow or um, profitability or systems and procedures, this is probably why. Because nobody shows you, nobody tells you, there's no roadmap and there's no step-by-step -step thing that takes you by the hand and says, okay, yeah, you can do this this hard way or guess what? Let me take your hand and lead you through this process step by step by step, the easy way, the simple way, the way it took me a long time to learn. So that's what I'm here to talk about with you today. The hard way again, what it took, you know, 40 years because I've got 40 years since that I've been in business and all of the things I've learned have kind of come together to mold and create this process. But this is just some of the things and some of the costs, the average costs. It is to create one of these systems for one of my businesses. So again, up front, we'd have to pay this up front and then t test and tweak it because, you know, nothing's perfect the first time you roll it out. Um, you, you, you do your best and you put your best guess and your best strategy forward and then you tweak and test and, and perfect it along the way. That's why it's called continuous improvement. But $35,000 up front, lots of people and resources, and a lot of time, two months to four months, that's a long time in business if you're waiting to bring customers in. Here's some of the different, um, just different modalities and strategies that we tried and, and have had to become expert in the old way. And so now the new way is to shortcut and take the best practices and the lessons we learned from all of these strategies and put those in practice in your business. I'm also going to build a customer's catcher for one lucky restaurant owner in just 15 minutes on this webinar. I think if you notice on the registration page right below the registration form, there was an opportunity for you to submit your business. And I selected one lucky business owner to actually do the easy way. And I'm going to give that to her after the uh, after the webinar today and actually she's already got parts of it and is working on parts of it with me but I'd like to share and I think it's important that I share with you three secrets of customer catching that I've gleaned over my years of experience and that I think will really help you today and they are how to ethically steal your competitors customers and they won't even know what hit them how to put your customers catching on autopilot and all of your customer handling laying on autopilot with the push of a button. So simple, even my two-year-old granddaughter can do it. And my favorite, how to bulletproof your restaurant or bar business, no matter how many new joints open up in your area. So, how to ethically steal your competitors' customers and they won't even know what hit them. Well, how the heck can that be? I can already hear you asking that and the wheels spinning in your head. Well, in corporate America, spying on the competition is just part of the business game. And as a corporate quality manager and, and a <clears throat> vice president of quality, my job is all about process and how things work. And part of that job and part of my responsibility was to do something called a SWOT analysis. S for strengths, W for weaknesses, O for opportunities, and T for threats. And a SWOT analysis is a, is a fancy way of saying um, research, research about your business, what, what you're good at, what you need to improve at, what opportunities are out there for you, ways that you can meet your customers' needs and desires better, and then threats, environmental things and changes and competition, things like that that could threaten your, your position in the marketplace. And so my job as a, a quality and process engineer was to always analyze all of our processes as a company and organization and then do this not only for the company I was working for but also for our competitors and a lot of people would call this spying 
personally call it smart business and having a clue. I mean, if you are in business and you have no idea what's going on around you and what else is available for your customers, how are you ever going to compete? How are you going to offer your customers what they want if you don't even know what they want? And so a lot of people will call this fighting on the competition. Again, I just call it good business, and, and I think it's imperative um, that you go ahead and do this for your business. The other, the other thing that this reminds me of is the whole topic of modeling. And Tony Robbins is who taught me this, and I've actually been following Tony Robbins since back when he was Anthony Robbins. He and I are about the same age, and, and I love him and everything he teaches. But one of the most important lessons for me has been if you want to achieve success, all you need to do is find a way to model those who've already succeeded. So this is so powerful. I, I don't know why so many of us think that we have to go out and reinvent the wheel. There's so many things we can learn from other people and we can shortcut our success and our failures and struggles and achieve success and get our goals and do what we want so much faster and easier than starting from scratch and trying to figure everything out ourselves. And again, you could call this spying or copying, but I don't say copy. I say learn from people that have gone before, find out what they're doing, and if they're doing something that you can do too that makes sense for your customers and your clientele and your business and for you and your goals and objectives, why on earth would you not do that? If you find out that every successful restaurant owner has a specific inventory form that they use for their, their kitchen ordering every week and that that is the one tool that's the difference between success and failure and profitability or loss in your kitchen, would you use that, that same worksheet? And if you could get your hands on that same worksheet, would you use that same worksheet? Well, hell yes, you would because that's just common sense. And actually, probably one of your vendors would give you that worksheet so that you could use it. Again, not really spying, smart business, and it makes your life so much easier. Why would you not do that? A little bit to the how would they not even notice. Let me ask you a question. When you started your restaurant and your bar, how much actual research and development did you do before you picked and decided what kind of a restaurant or bar you were gonna gonna open? How much of a plan did you put together? And if you did a strategic plan, assuming you did, or a financial plan or a business plan to get financing or for your bank, how much time did you actually spend on the competitive analysis part of that financial plan? I'll tell you, most of the restaurants and bar owners that I talk to have never done that. And that's most of the ones that are coming to me and and working and doing the customer catcher system. So if they haven't done that and they're the lead, I consider the people I work with the leading edge of this industry. If they haven't done it, what's the probability that their competition has or that other people have? Pretty slim to none. And that's why they're not even going to notice. <coughs> Excuse me, I need a quick drink of water. So how do you do this? Well, I've got a five-step process of how I actually spy on the competition. First, I find out who my competition is. So you find your competition. You do a little research, the research and development I was talking about, and you can do this many ways. Um, I used to have to go to the library. I don't know if y'all remember what the library is, but it's a place where they have lots of books and directories and phone books, if you remember what phone books are, and you go there and you do your research and you find out who your competitors are. So, step one, find your competition. Step two, where are their customers coming from? Well, again, a little research and development, and it's not even that hard to find out where they're getting their customers. Are they running ads? What type of ads? Where are they running their ads? What kind of bait are they using? What are they, what are they doing or using to lure customers into their place if they're doing anything? So where are they coming from? Look for those streams of customers and where you can dip your toe in to do step number three. Put your business in front of them. Once you know what they're using for bait, what's where the streams are, you 
can decide how you're going to attract those customers. And all you have to do to attract those customers is give them more of what they want and put yourself in front of them. And then offer them what they want the most. Offer your ideal customers what they want most. And that falls into the, the top five reasons people buy anything from anyone is to make money, save money, save time, avoid pain, and to gain pleasure. And if you can incorporate one or more of these things into your offer, people will flock to your place. They'll, you can just sit back and watch them flock to your place. That's the five-step process for stealing your customer's competition. And it's not really stealing. Whoever gives customers what they want the most wins. That's, that's how business works. Helena's experience. We've added 517 new and repeat customers to our restaurant since we launched our customers catcher. The goal is to add a thousand customers and at the rate we are going, it is looking like we will reach that before the end of the year. Helena Salvatore. So who does this work for? Well, fine dining restaurants, fast casual restaurants, Italian, Indian, sushi, Chinese, French, Thai, you name your special cuisine restaurant, it works for you. Food carts, mall kiosks, fast food, healthy alternative restaurants, burger joints, sports bars, pubs, dive bars, elegant bars, wine bars, dessert bars, coffee and tea cafes, cafes, breweries, taverns, big or small, independent or chains, we've done it for them all. Any place people go to eat or to drink, this will work for. Works for all types of bars and restaurants and all types of businesses, as a matter of fact. I'd like to challenge you if you're saying, ah, oh, this won't work for my business, my business is different. I want to challenge you to put in the comments box what type of business you have and what makes your business different because I guarantee I can show you an example of one of our successful customers that's super similar to your business that is successfully using this system. So who wants to know my favorite place to spy on the competition? Well, it's a place called SEMrush, SEMrush.com. And I'm having a problem with my computer. I wanted to go on there live and, and, and take you through a SEMrush um, search. But since my computer system, I don't know if it's the stormy weather and the rain or what's going on, but I decided I would just print out a screenshot and share it with you and talk about it for a minute. Um, SEMrush is one of, of thousands of tools available online to research different companies and, and the competition. And the reason I like it is they've got a free version. <clears throat> and I've learned over the years that free is my favorite word. So I think it's a favorite word of a lot of other entrepreneurs. And if I can find a free version of something and it meets my needs, that's what I'm going to use. And that's what I'm going to recommend to other people. So this was actually what I used to, to do my initial research on an organization. And sometimes I will use paid tools if I really want to get detailed and I, I need to find out specific information that's only available from a paid tool. But otherwise, if I've got a free version, that's what I'm going to go with. So SEMrush, a Panera Bread just opened up in our hometown. And I live in a really small town, so it's a pretty big deal for a Panera Bread to actually open up there. And Panera Bread, you know, one of the things I hear a lot is, oh, nobody in the restaurant industry has websites. Nobody's on the internet. I can't find any information on the internet, so I'm not going to bother. Well, I want to prove that, yeah, there is information on the internet, and there are food companies and restaurants and restaurant chains and restaurants that are opening up in your town that you can find information on. And one of the cool things about this is all the different types of information that you can, can get from a site like this. You can find out how many people are visiting this place every month, this is the site every month, and from that, you can figure out based on the size of your town and if you know the market size of the individual restaurant chain or chain that you're looking or restaurant that you're looking up, you can ascertain about how many people and about the size of their market. You can ascertain and you can find out what kind of ads they're doing, what kind of promotion they're doing, what kind of messages they're sharing and what they're using to try to attract customers to their business. You can actually see samples of their ads. It's incredible all the information that you can get in about 10 minutes. With the click, with a few clicks of your mouse, so that's my favorite tool right now. And in case you're saying to yourself, "This won't work for my business," no way. I just pulled up a couple of our templates to show you the different types of businesses, and I didn't do all of them. I just grabbed three because we don't have, you know, all night to go ahead and look at these. So here's an example of our fine dining customers catcher. Here's a fast casual customers catcher. And here's a sports bar customer's catcher. So I want to ask you, 
What's your customer catcher going to look like? What do you want it to look like? Because you can customize it and make it look and feel any way that you want and any way that would most attract your desired customers. So now you know how to ethically steal the competitor's customers and they won't even know what hit them. Again, the steps to steal the customers, find your competition. Where are their customers coming from? Put your business in front of them. Give the customers what they want and watch customers flock to your place. So again, now you know how to ethically steal customers from your competition and they won't even notice. So you can you see how this might work for your business? I admit that whoever has the most knowledge has the most power and the most control. So a lot of times we think it's really hard to get knowledge, but it's not. It's really simple. You just have to do it. Who is ready for secret number two? How to put your customers catching on autopilot with the push of a button so simple even my two-year-old granddaughter could do it. I want to quick share a little story with you and I call it the there's no such thing as can't story. Um, building my businesses and actually coming up with this automatic customer catcher <clears throat> system and everything came out of a necessity to change my life and change my lifestyle. And that was only part of it. I've, I've wanted to do this for a long time. But um, running my own businesses, I found, I, I mentioned that a lot of people create their own jobs. Well, I actually sort of did that same thing. I created my own workaholic situation where I was so busy and so taxed and always working. And it caused a huge health challenge for me. And as a result of that health challenge, which I'm not going to go into all the details of that. It's another story. But if I didn't do something to change my life, and I'm, I'm talking some drastic changes, massive lifestyle changes, I would not be here talking to you today. I actually dropped dead and was one of the fortunate few to be revived, and I'm, I'm lucky to be here today. But in order for that good luck and that good fortune to continue in my life and me to have a life, I needed to make these lifestyle changes. So one of the things I knew I needed to do was I needed to exercise. I I didn't exercise for like 20 years. I mean, from college and the time I had my kids, I pretty much did the minimum to get by when it came to physical exercise. I was working all the time and I worked in the businesses, but that's not the same as getting exercise and actually getting physical activity that is planned. And so I set a goal that... I was going to exercise every day for a year. And I went out and I told my family and my friends and heard so much nonsense, I couldn't believe it. Everybody told me it was impossible, that I was setting myself up for failure. Why would I set a goal like that that I couldn't possibly obtain? And all that did was make me say, watch me. You know what? Yeah, go ahead. Tell me I can't exercise every day for a year. What do you mean that's impossible? That's not impossible. I know darn well I can do it. I mean, it might be hard. Because I never exercised, but I think it's possible. So I'm one of those people that if you want me to do something, just challenge me and say I can't do it. And you can pretty much ensure that it's going to be done and it's going to happen. And I took that same approach when it came to automating this whole customer handling and customer catching system. I knew, just like I knew I could exercise every day for a year if I put my mind to it, I didn't know how I was going to do it. But I knew that if I had the end goal in mind, I was going to figure out a way. And that's what I did. And my father always taught us girls there's no such thing as can't. And if you have a goal, you write it down and you will make it happen. You don't have to know how. You just have to write it down and believe and know with your heart that you can make it happen and it will happen. And then again, the whole continuous improvement. I somehow got continuous improvement ingrained in my little being and... Ever since I was a little girl, I've always looked for better ways of doing things. And so to me, the next logical step was to take this customer system and process that we had figured out and determine how to automate it so that it would be easier and faster and more efficient. So it's kind of always working on that in the background. So what do we used to have to do? What's the hard way of doing this? Well, we had to decide we were going to advertise or promote or look for new customers or whatever our goal was. Then we either had to get ideas 
to attract customers through research and development, or we had to hire somebody to come up with those things for us. Pick a message, pick media, design ads, promote ads, pay to run ads, run the ads in media, and then try to decide and determine if we made any money on those ads or not, or if we got any new customers, or if we met the goal of that particular campaign or not. And back in the olden days, we really never knew. We would do all sorts of things, and there wasn't really a direct link between our results and, and the activities that we were doing. And so I knew we needed a new and better way, and we came across that. I, I knew and believed that in my heart, and we were always improving the process, but we needed a, a massive change in a new and better way. And I found that in an, an application and a tool called ClickFunnels. And ClickFunnels is really an automated sales process. Whatever your sales process is, it's like a 24-7 online sales force working for you to bring people to your business, to automate the sales process of your business, and to make everything work on autopilot. So what we did is we created Customers Catcher software and put that on top of ClickFunnels. So you can now clone one of the, our ClickFunnels Customers Catcher template funnels, then you can customize it for your particular business, for how, and you can use it to collect customers, decide how often you want customers coming back to your business. You can set it up to have them spend a certain amount to encourage them to spend more. You can do all kinds of fantastic things with it. And it's all on autopilot. This revolutionized my businesses and my life. Again, ClickFunnels is simply your sales process put on the computer and, and automated so that you can do more and have more and concentrate more on the one-to-one -one actual personal interactions knowing that a certain number of people are going to automatically be coming to your organization and spending more money. So for one lucky business owner, let's build a customer catcher right now. Does that sound like fun? So our winner was a woman named Matilda. And I could not get my computer to work today, so what I did is I quick recorded a Camtasia video that walks you through her customer catcher. And so let's go ahead and take a look at that now. All right, here we go. Demo click funnels and customer catchers. I am going to see how long it actually takes me to do this. Got a set of old headphones on, so I'm hoping that they work, and my microphone to try to eliminate the, the feedback and things that I get off of it otherwise. So here I am in my ClickFunnels account. You can see I've got lots of funnels in here, but what we're going to do is we're going to go, we're just going to pick one of my templates, and I'm going to show you how with the push of a button we can create a customer catcher for you. This template is called Fine Dining Customer. I just grabbed the first one that I came to. And when you do that, you then go to your Settings tab. And on your Settings tab, right below Settings, you'll see this Clone Funnel button. You push the Clone Funnel button. And as if by magic, that funnel is copied into your account. So all I have to do if you're a customer catcher is send you this clone funnel or a link to this clone funnel and you can just like I showed you with the push of a button in under 30 seconds have this funnel as is in your account and then you can go about customizing it for your particular business now the business that won this week and entered her business was a lady named Matilda she's got a cafe and it took me a little longer than 15 minutes to create this for her, given her artwork and what she wanted for designs and details. But I've got it here, and I'm just going to walk you through some of the features because I can't possibly show you how to customize everything in 15 minutes. I, I actually thought I could, but with my computer connection and trying to record simultaneously, it just takes my computer too long to get from screen to screen. But we will go ahead and walk through her funnel. And all we did or her funnel or her sales process or her customer capture 
is exactly what this is. This is a system for her to capture customers with this first page, this squeeze page. And we're going to go ahead and click on that and show you. And then we've created for her a, a membership site, which is a way to get customers to come back to her place at whatever frequency she chose. And we decided to offer for her, and I'll go into the details of that when I show you the page. Let's go ahead and preview this. So you can see what it looks like to a customer. It's, it's pretty simple. She didn't have her logo handy, so we just used the little lady to fill in for her logo. But these are the colors and everything she picked. And what she's offering people as an incentive to join her members club is a free pie. They come into her place and she gives them a free pie. And all they have to do to get that is enter their name and email. And now they're on her list and she can begin sending the automated communications that we're creating for her together that we've already created and she's just customizing actually um, to follow up and to encourage people to continue to come to her business. But it doesn't stop there. We also, for her, created an upsell, which is this membership site I was telling you about. It's a sales page. And what she decided to offer as an incentive for people to come to her business was a once a month she will give whoever comes in that's a member, they can order whatever they want for breakfast, whatever they want for lunch, and whatever they want for dinner. And her menu prices are within a range that she's comfortable with doing that, um, providing you know one of each meal per month for her customers. And then she's also going to create a custom special dessert just for each customer every time that they join her for a meal, including these meals and other meals. So if somebody comes in for breakfast, they can get a muffin or whatever, or a caramel roll or something along with their breakfast. And if they come in for their lunch and dinner, they can get, you know, whatever she's got on the menu. But she's also going to create some special desserts that are only available to you if you're a member of the Matilda MC Members Only special group because they'll have a special menu. And I, I guarantee those will be absolutely mouth-watering desserts that are displayed in a prominent place in order to get people to sign up for this program. We've, we've had a lot, a couple of discussions about that and she's really excited about some of the things that, that she and her friend Sandra can create to make this really special for their customers. And that's $47 a month. So we've created this and set it up as a membership site to encourage people to come back to her restaurant pretty much weekly or pretty frequently. Um, if, if you're paying 50 bucks a month and an entree or a breakfast is about 10 bucks, you're going to want to come four or five times to, to her place. And this works for her and her business and what she's trying to achieve with it. And she's pretty excited about it. Now, in addition to this, we also created an upsell package for her and for her business. We're going to skip to that. This is set up as a one-time offer, but um, what it does, and we don't have her video available yet. We didn't have it available to plug in here, so we just plugged in some random catering guy that I found on YouTube just for demonstration purposes to show you. But what she's offering is a $3,000 value package, a catered event or holiday meal for $997. But the cool thing about this is she can charge up front for this meal and plan accordingly and they get an awesome deal. They get two thirds off, which is an incredible deal. But she gets cash flow and money. Let's go ahead and look at this in the preview mode. Um, for having pre-sold this, you know, it's, it's kind of the same principle of selling gift cards. You sell gift cards ahead of time and you know, there's always some percentage of those people that don't redeem them, but you want them to because you want them to come to your business and be satisfied and have a great experience with you and your organization. And so that's what she's offering here. She's like, I, I can definitely do that. We can think of some really cool things to do for people and some special event type things and, you know, for birthdays or holidays or whatever, whatever the person that buys this decides they want to do, she'll tailor make it and do a menu with them to make sure it's a memorable and special event. And so that's what she did for her upsell. And then the other pages in this funnel are just what make it work. The how to take money part, the order form, the thank you page where people can then redeem and find their programs. So I can just quickly show you that those are in here. 
and she just went for kind of a, a country, homesy, um, home cooking look and feel for her site. As you can see here, it's kind of the checkerboard and then how to take money. This is automatically generated for you, so that works out really, really well and is easy. And then again, the rest of this is made up with the thank you page. I guess we missed the order page. We could go back to that. Here's the thank you page. Simple. Gives you a step-by-step -step what the customer needs to do. Again, her logo is not available yet. And then the order form, just so you know what it looks like. And there you have it. Everything's set up and everything's on autopilot. Now, in addition to this, we've got a series of emails and other communications that are built into this system for her. She's actually working on customizing those, but they would fall under this automations tab. So, for example, when someone orders, a whole series of emails can be sent out and messages sent out to continue to communicate with the people that join her club. And we can do the same thing for you. We've got all of these. We've got several series of emails set up in advance. So all you have to do is plug in your information, and you can use these same emails with your details to continually communicate with your customers on autopilot. So there you have it. That's all there is to setting up Customers Catcher on top of your ClickFunnels account. If you have any questions, let me know. We're adding about 10 people per day to our system. It is making the slow nights fun and kicking our cash flow in the ass. We're profitable for the first time every night in, of the week. We used to have to count on the weekends to cover the weekdays. Jake Taylor. Jake owns a sports bar and has used a customer catcher to kind of smooth out each night of the week that he has revenue coming in. And he's so he's pretty stoked with how it's impacted his business and that he doesn't have to count on the weekends to cover the, the really slow nights anymore. And he actually had some less than desirable customers that he ended up attracting because he was trying to get those nights busy by sponsoring sports teams or running specials that that actually attracted the kind of people that he didn't really necessarily want in his place so he's really thrilled with the results he's been getting with his customers catcher so you can do this or you can have someone else do it for your business if anyone has done what you want to do before it's proof that you can do it too I just showed you how simple and easy this is to use in your business and I just showed you the tip of the iceberg so if you're thinking to yourself, geez, I don't want to do this, I don't have time, I don't know how to do it, guess what? You don't have to do it yourself. I would say about half the restaurants and bars that we've worked with have had someone else in the business do it. It hasn't been the owner, him or herself. Now, I will contend that as the owner of a business, you need to be there to set the tone and the strategy and the direction for your organization, but you don't have to physically do everything yourself. So again, secret number two, how to put your customers catching on autopilot with the push of a button. So simple, even my two-year-old granddaughter could do it. And now you know that you can too. I just had to share another picture of her because I think she's adorable. So now you know how to put your customer catchers on autopilot with the push of a button. And if you don't want to do it yourself, you know that you can have someone else do it for you. Secret number three, my number one competitive advantage how to bulletproof your restaurant or bar business no matter how many new joints open up in your area. This is my favorite and you're going to find out why I alluded to it a little bit in the demonstration that I shared with you on Matilda's Cafe, but there's so much more to this. There's so much more available. There's so much more you can do and that's part of what helps you to bulletproof your business. I want to tell you a little story about two bars and I'm not going to name them in case anyone would guess who they are and who the owners are just you know for not for competitive purposes but just to protect the innocent and not so innocent but mostly everybody's innocent in this situation but bar one I've been associated with for about seven or eight years and I know the owner really well we've we've been friends for a long long time and in the area that he's in he dominated the 21 to 35 year old market I mean 
His place was the happiest, happiest place, no, no questions asked, for about five years. And a couple years ago, I guess it's been a couple years ago now already, it's amazing how time flies, um, a new bar opened up and moved into his area. And they started get, getting his customers. I mean, he used to be the only place to go, and now there were two places to go. So can imagine when a new place opens in town, people check it out, and they go check it out. And so quite a few of his customers were actually going to this new place, and, and he was starting to really worry and stress out about it. And that's when we had a discussion about competition and what he could do and what the options were and I encourage him to let me show him what I know and how he could use this customer's catcher to really bulletproof his business and make sure that he wasn't going to have to worry about bar number two. So we did some really fun and unique things with his business that I haven't done in a long time. We actually put this customer catcher system to work in his organization. And one of the best things he discovered was that before we had the customer catcher, everybody in that demographic was coming to his place. And that included some less than desirable clientele. I mean, that included everybody in that age range. And some of those people in that age range aren't always the most mature. So that meant that he had people pulling urinals off the walls in the bathroom and, you know, testosterone overload, alcohol-induced bar fights, and just some of the trials and tribulations that he didn't really want in his organization. And what he had discovered was that when he went after the customers he wanted, those customers came back. His ideal customers came back to bar number one, but the ones that he didn't really want to attract or care about having, the ones that caused the bar fights or had the trouble or danced on the bars or, or threw up in the bathroom, those customers stayed with bar number two. And we did something fun. We actually drove around every night as part of our market research after he launched his customer catcher and watched what people were doing. We we went to the different places in town. We stood in line where there were lines. We asked people what they liked best about the place we were waiting to go to. We pretended we had never been there. And we asked questions and we listened and we observed and we paid attention to what attracted people to the different businesses in the area. And we, we learned a lot, but we noticed some things too. Both places were swamped. There were plenty of people at both places to keep both businesses as busy as they could possibly be or want to be. There's plenty of business to go around. That I think that bar owner number one was afraid. He had the scarcity mentality that a lot of us have. We're afraid that if a new place comes to town, we're going to lose out and we're going to lose all our customers. But the fact is, a new place only comes to town when there's enough business to support a new place. And the more places there are, the more options there are for people, so there's the more reasons and the more things to attract them to the area. And once people are in the area, then they decide, based on what you have to offer, which place they're going to go to. But more businesses attract more people, and more people is more traffic and more business for everybody. I mean, think about why coffee shops and car dealerships and stores like at shopping malls, why do they all locate next to one another and congregate next to one another because they know that that attracts more business for everybody and more customers for everybody. Furniture stores in our area at least do that. So bar number one learned that there's plenty of business for everybody and that we can all be successful and it's a lot more fun to attract your ideal customers than just to take whatever you can get. And it's a good thing that bar number one learned that because Seven new places opened in the next nine months in, in the area where bar number one is located. And I can pretty much guarantee that if we hadn't done this exercise and if we hadn't put a customer catcher system into his business, he would have freaked out and, and actually quit business by now. I mean, he might have been able to find somebody to buy his business and sold it, but chances are he would have sold it at a loss 
or he would have just closed up shop and quit because he would have been overwhelmed and devastated by the competition because he would have thought that he couldn't compete. And really what this secret teaches you is how to make your competition irrelevant. Where are the competitors getting their traffic fun from? I thought this would be fun to do since all of these new businesses opened up in the area recently. So I went to a couple of my favorite tools online. And again, I like these tools because they're free. There's thousands, literally thousands of different tools online that you can use to to investigate and study and learn more about different competitors and, and just to find out what's going on, on on the internet. But you really don't have to be that fancy. Sometimes just a couple of quick and dirty free tools are all you need to get all the information that you want about what's going on in your area. So I already talked a little bit about SEMrush, but similar web does si similar things. You can find similar information on both these sites and Again, I did Panera Bread, so you can see some of the statistics and data for that. Their marketing mix. Where are where are they spending money? Where are their – and actually, I did this for five different businesses in my area. I did Panera, Applebee's, Starbucks, Buffalo Wild Wings, and Wendy's because I knew that all of these had big enough – audiences and big, were big enough businesses to be on similar web. And what this shows you is where what percentage of their businesses for each of these businesses are coming from the different media types. Direct, mail, referrals, social media, organic search, paid traffic, paid search, and display ads. So you can see the percentage of, of what kind of marketing they're doing to attract customers. And again, here's actual examples of the ads that Panera is running. So if your ideal customers are similar to those that go to Panera, you could assume that if you've never run ads before, if you created a similar look and feel to your ad, if it matched your or a similar style ad, if it matched what you wanted to attract for your business, that you could get similar results to the ones that they're getting. So now by doing just this little bit of research, from these two sites, I know no things. I know where they're advertising, what they're saying, who they're going after, what they're offering, and that gives me a great position of power to, number one, differentiate myself if I don't want to compete directly with them or figure out what my customers, my ideal customers want more of and then make sure I'm giving them the best offer of what they want compared to who I think my competitors are. So I did a little spying in my local market, and these are just five restaurants in my area that happen to have websites. Now it's interesting to note that not all the restaurants in my area and not all the bars in my area even have websites. There's a lot of restaurants and bars that have no web presence whatsoever. All they have is ratings on Yelp, ratings on TripAdvisor or one of the other food advisory or restaurant advisory sites or one of the hospitality sites and they haven't even set those up or aren't even monitoring. Those are just Someone else had been to their establishment and rated them, and that's why they have a listing there. It's interesting to note that there's a few key things going on. The best-performing restaurants are doing something. They're modeling the best in the industry or in other industries. They're doing some form of customer catching and engagement on autopilot. But most of the competition is not doing anything, and that's where the opportunity is for you, for you to get in do something and just dominate your market because you're light years ahead of everybody else. So if I model what works, I get the best customers coming to my place on autopilot or to your place on autopilot, visiting more often, spending more money, bringing their friends, and then I just get to watch my restaurant and bar thrive. And you get to watch your restaurant and bar thrive because modeling works. We're getting about two to four customers a day in our automated online customers catcher. I love repeat happy people who like being associated with our little wine bar. I just do not even think about competition anymore. We love our customers now. Wine, don't wine is our motto. Wanda Washington. And Wanda actually started her wine bar. She's one of those seven new customers or seven new competitors that opened in nine months in the area of bar one because... She actually joined forces with us, did some market research, and found that there's a demographic and the customers in the area that she really wanted to serve 
that that's exactly what they wanted and that matched up with her desire and, and what she wanted to provide to her ideal customers. So she's opened her wine bar and has been successful from the day she opened. She's had positive cash flow and profitability. So she is, needless to say, a huge fan. So you're probably thinking, competition is scary. Well, it used to be scary, but it's not anymore. Your only real competition is you and challenging yourself to identify your best customers and figure out what they want and then determine how you are going to match up what you have to offer and what you want to offer with what they want most. We live in an abundant versus scarcity world. It's an abundant universe and there's more than enough customers for all of us. There's over 7 billion people on this planet and they all eat pretty much every day. I can hear you saying, oh, not in third world countries. Well, guess what? I'm not working in a third world country and neither are you. We're in America and in America, people eat out and they eat out all the time. I had a conversation with my son the other day. He's actually 26 and, and he was sharing with me his concern for people his age. He said, mom, they would die if there weren't restaurants and bars because they wouldn't eat. They don't know how to cook. He said they're at the at the bars and they're at the restaurants bragging that they can't even make macaroni. And I'm like, well, do have they ever heard of Easy Mac? He's like, Mom, that's not the point. The point is this generation cannot fend for themselves. They need people to serve them and wait for them. And to me, that's just job security for all of us. Restaurants and bars, no shortage of people eating out. And there never there never will be. And then the other concern I hear and that you might be thinking is that people are going to talk about me and they're going to they're going to be jealous or not like it if my business is doing really well and successful. And I'm going to tell you right now, yep, they are going to talk about you. People will talk about you and they're going to talk about you no matter what. That's just how people are. People live vicariously. People don't know what's going on with other people, so they're going to talk about you. So if people are going to talk about you anyway, why not have them talking about you and your business and how awesome it is and how wonderful they, they like your new recipe. They, they're so excited about your new offer. They love your new chef. Be an example. Don't be a warning. Let people talk. Let them build your business for you. So again, secret number three, how to bulletproof your restaurant and bar business, no matter how many new joints move into your area. Now you know how to do it. You know exactly what to do. And you don't have to worry about how many new places pop up in your area. It wouldn't matter if 20 popped up because you know that your best customers are coming to you no matter what. And will they go check out new places? Absolutely. And you want them to because that reinforces to them what they love about your place and why they keep coming back for more. Again, the three secrets. Let's just recap. How to ethically steal your competitors' customers and they won't even know what hit them. Secret number two. How to put your customers' catchers on autopilot with the push of a button. So simple, even my two-year-old granddaughter can do it. And secret number three, how to bulletproof your restaurant and bar business no matter how many new joints open in your area. If I've modeled what works, if I give people what they want, they'll beat a path to my door and competition is irrelevant. I hope that you can see that this is true for your business. It's true for all of my businesses now. And I know that with a couple of tweaks and a couple of changes, this can absolutely positively be true for your business. You can set your restaurant and bar up for automated success. Well, let me ask you a question. I've been talking for about an hour now and I've shared a lot of stuff. I know uh, when I get on these web classes, sometimes I feel like I've been drinking from a, from a fire hose. I feel like my brain's gonna explode. I've just gotten so much information and so many ideas and I don't even really know how and where to start because I've just gotten so many new ideas and, and I don't know which to put in practice first. So if I had a way of helping you to automate and put this into your business, I've actually created a special offer to help you do that and set it up your business as quickly and easily as possible and get you capturing customers and running all of your customer handling on autopilot would that be something that you would want to know about or want to hear about? Go ahead and comment in the comment box. 
let me know. I'm I'm not going to share it if you, if you you know if you've already gotten enough information and you're good to go. I can say good night now and go take care of these dogs. But I want to know if it's something you'd want to hear about. Okay, it looks like it's uh, something you'd like to hear about. So, again, if it if this is something that is of interest to you, go ahead and stay on the line. I'm going to talk about it for about 10, 15 minutes. And after that, I will share the Blue Plate special with you. But if it's not, thanks for joining us, and I hope you have a great night. So, Customer's Catcher. So what are you going to get with Customer's Catcher? What is this all about? What have I created to help you put this to work in your organization? Well, the first thing that I've created to make it step-by-step -step simple is a six-week Customer's Catcher Masterclass. And in this masterclass, you are going to learn absolutely everything you need to know to go from zero to 100 miles per hour when it comes to catching customers, your ideal customers, all the way through creating customers for life. We're going to talk about customer catching, how to find your ideal customer, who is your ideal customer, who do you even want to come into your business, who did you design your business for, and who do you want to serve. Because once you know that, we know how to then get their attention and attract them to your specific bar and restaurant. We're going to talk in depth about the competition eraser, how to make competition irrelevant for your organization. We're going to talk about how to captivate wow and create lifetime thrilled customers that are so loyal to you and your organization that they feel like they're part of the family. We're going to take them from good, great, to wow experiences. We're going to define the customer experience from beginning to end and how it flows through your organization and how you want it to flow to create experiences that captivate your ideal customer and keep them coming back for more. We're going to discuss and share all of the necessary and all of the extra customer communications that you need and want for your customers in different modalities, social media, email, lumpy or regular direct mail and, and things that you might want to use to communicate with your customers, phone messaging and how that might work best to incorporate with your specific customers. And we're going to create a whole plan for that for your particular business. And then how to turn all of this into customers for life. Because really, we don't want people that just come to our business once and then we never see them again. The lifetime value of the customer is probably one of the most overlooked aspects of having a business, but it's also the one that can make or break your business for the long term. With Customers Catcher, we got 23 new customers our first week. Now that we have the catcher perfected, we are on track to get 100 new customers this month. I never thought it would work for my little cafe. Alicia Keller. So who does this work for? Again, it works for all types of restaurants and bars and all types of businesses. I've challenged you, and I think we got two or three people in the chat box, and I will have Kevin go back and check on that for me uh, and see what we've got uh, to see if there is anyone that has actually come up with a business that we don't have a sister business for that's that's running a successful customer catcher. I would be very surprised if, if somebody offered one up. But, again, any type of cuisine, any style, any format, any theme, any independent restaurant, big, small, breweries, taverns, dive bars. I mean, we even have dive bars that are just killing it using our customer catcher. I mean that metaphorically only. No one's actually dying. I used customer catcher to buy my resort restaurant. I got it under contract, then used what I learned to double our average nightly sales in only eight months. The increased revenue covers the monthly payments. Jackie McDonald. I've never had an actual business before Ingalls. I followed Sharon's instructions, set up a customer's catcher, and my first try sold 17 people on my front end offer, which is a free plan, and four people bought the $247 package. George, I love George, but George is one of the few people I know that's actually less technically savvy than me. He never even had a laptop computer prior to um, getting involved with us and us helping to him to create his customer catcher. And he was ecstatic that the first time he, well, went live on his 
site, he sold 17 people on his front end offer to join his loyalty program. And then four of those 17 actually bought his upsell package, his first upsell, which was a $247 package. So he made $1,000 in his first couple of hours. And to have that kind of a success, your first try online was uh, invaluable for him. And it can be for you too. I was not sure customer catcher would work for my business or me, but since it was guaranteed, I had nothing to lose. I set it up and forgot about it. Two weeks later, I checked it out and was flabbergasted. I wonder where all the new folks were coming from. Kim White. Kim actually has a liquor store, so that's an example of a business that isn't a restaurant or bar, but that the customer catcher system works terrifically in. So I actually decided one of the biggest concerns I get is, hey, I'm one of those people you're talking about, Sharon, that hasn't done anything. I don't have any kind of a customer system at all yet. But I'm going to say don't worry to that because the bonus, and actually I've decided to offer this as the blue plate special to everyone who is still on the line at the end of the call. We've got a bonus system that actually shows you how to set up a customer system, how to do it right, how to do it fast, and how to set it up initially for your bar or restaurant. And it's the fast restaurant bar customer creation system. And so if you've already got a system, awesome. This will, this will tell you if there's any gaps or holes or any ways to improve your system. And if you don't have a system yet, this will show you how to do it right step by step and set it up and launch it. You can have it launched by tomorrow. So that's our blue plate special. So at the end, I'll share the link for that. So what are you going to get? The six-week customer catcher masterclass, which is a $4,997 value. It's a total value of almost $5,000. But wait, there's more. Your very own customer catcher Swiss Army knife, I call this. I call this the silver platter membership because... This is our software. It's all that you need to put your customer handling system on autopilot. It's the attraction, communications, experiences, rewards, wow, and the customers for life. In addition to this, you get the 14-day free trial of ClickFunnels Enterprise account, which is 70 funnels, 20,000 contacts, 100,000 monthly visitors, and much, much more. And for those of you that already have ClickFunnels, no-brainer. But if you don't, you get a 14-day trial. Um, I actually am and have become a certified partner for ClickFunnels. That's how excited I was about this tool and about uh, actually mixing what we do with and putting it on top of that platform. So I wanted to make sure that people were offered an opportunity to get the free trial. But I need to be clear that we do not resell ClickFunnels. ClickFunnels is provided to you by Edison Suites and by the ClickFunnels organization. You'll be able to do all of these things on autopilot now, things that we used to have to piece together and do by hand. Attract new customers to your restaurant and bar. Get customers to come back to your place whenever you want. Increase how often customers return. Influence how much they spend. Have your best customers spreading word about your spot. See customers bringing their friends back to your establishment. Watch your sales and profits soar and much, much more. And you'll be able to get rid of all the things we used to have to do before ClickFunnels Suite was available and before we had customer catchers. And this is just a few of the things that we've used and we've replaced by using ClickFunnels. All of these softwares and all of these tools cost us thousands of dollars a month. We're actually saving thousands of dollars a month by having Customers Catcher run on top of the ClickFunnels platform. And, and that's, you can too. We are, we were able to get rid of doubts about attracting new customers, customer handling worries, competition fears, profit, cash flow, and sales troubles, customer for life concerns, promo ad and event challenges, restaurant and bar growth obstacles, and again, much, much more. All of these uh, different tools and things that we used to have to piece together. We were able to clump them all together and they're all, all these functions are now available using ClickFunnels. So the customer catcher system solved these things for me and they will for you too. 
Doubts about attracting new customers, worries about customer handling, fears about competition, troubles with profitability, cash flow, and sales, concerns dealing with customers for life, challenges involving promo, ads, and events, obstacles of restaurant and bar growth were now handled for us automatically. Not knowing what to do, how to do, and when to do it is all covered in Customer Catcher. And any technical and practical aspects of all customer interactions and a whole lot more are now all taken care of for me, my organizations, and you and your organizations as part of Customers Catcher. All by myself, I can now create an entire year-long customer handling system that runs on autopilot in a couple of hours for the price of a burger out a day. Now, can you see yourself doing that? How would that impact your business and your profitability if you only had to spend, and if you don't even have to do it, if you've got someone else in your organization to spend a few hours setting this up for your business, what can it do for you? What's possible for you in your restaurant, your bar? So you're probably thinking, well, what happens after a year? Well, after a year, you can repeat the, the same process that you set up or you can tweak and and change it I recommend that you do just to keep things fresh but you don't have to you have a if you have a steady stream of new customers coming in all the time you can just continue to run the same program over and over again but you can also it's completely customizable so you can tweak it and change it and edit it anytime you want probably thinking I'm not technical right well I shared I've shared with you guys how many challenges I've had technically George totally non-technical and this is so simple and so step-by-step. Step. We take you by the hand and lead you through everything you need to do so you don't have to be technical. And again, if you're saying, I don't have the time and I don't even want to do this, if you're thinking that, well, I already told you, you don't have to do it. You can have someone in your organization do it. You can hire a VA, a virtual assistant, to do it. Or we actually have a program where we will do it for you um, and I, I like to stay with you because we need your assets and your direction to create it for you and your organization. But there is an option to get it done for you as well. So what are you going to get? The six-week Customer Catcher's Masterclass of $4,997 value. The Customer Catcher Software and ClickFunnels Trial, a $3,564 dollar value for a total value of $8,561. So let me ask you, what else do you need? What else do you need to make this a no-brainer? Make this so that you can get everything you need for handling customers in your business done, taken care of, and working on autopilot. Well, how about more stuff done for you, like communications, promos, ads, events, pre-written for you and your business to customize, what if you're able to steal our entire successful swipe file? Not just, not everything, but because you know, we made lots of mistakes over the years, but how about the stuff that worked extremely well and was super profitable for us? Would that be helpful? Guess what? Customer Catcher Killer Communications is exactly that, and that's exactly why I included it here. I want to make sure you have all of our most successful communications. Our traditional media cheat sheets, lumpy mail secrets, swipe file from our successful campaigns, and not just our successful restaurant and bar campaigns. Uh, my husband and I ran, and I wanted to make sure that we share those things with you too. My done for you customizable emails, texts, um, SMS messages, successful ad and campaigns and solo ads, media buying tricks and tips, Facebook shortcuts and lessons learned. And boy, have I got some lessons learned that can save you a lot of stress, worry, and heartache, plus money. SEO and social media strategies and much, much more. So, do you want a consistent customer engagement stream, a steady stream of customers coming to your business on autopilot? That's what Customer Catcher's Killer Communications offers for you. So what are you going to get? Six-week Customer Catcher Masterclass, a $4,997 value. The Customer Catcher Software and ClickFunnels Trial, $3,564 value. And 
Customer Catcher Killer Communications, a $1,997 value. And actually, that's worth way, way more given all of the money we actually spent on it and time and energy creating and compiling all of that information for you. For a total value of $10,558. I love teaching people how to cook, but I hate selling. I spent a few minutes editing the email and text message series for attracting new customers and filled all my classes for this fall. I was struggling to keep the doors open before coming across Customers Catcher. I'm so glad I did. Now I'm thinking about adding another instructor, Tina Tully. Tina has a, a cooking school and she has actually added three instructors since she began working with us. So that's pretty exciting. So what more will help you? What more do you need to make this super simple and powerful for your organization? Well, how about a ninja? Who doesn't love a ninja? Customer Catcher Ninja is the next bonus that we've added to the package. And it's all about customer experience, customer engagement, how to captivate your customers, how to keep them coming back for more whenever you want them to and on whatever frequency you want them to. Customer Catcher Ninja, you know, you, you're probably thinking or you might be thinking, well, isn't it wrong to spy on the competition? Isn't that cheating somehow? And again, I think I mentioned earlier that it's just good business. You can't run your business in a vacuum unless you don't want to be in business very long. And it just makes sense to run your business by getting all the information that you can. He who has the most information wins when it comes to business. And again, these powers could come with great responsibility. Great, And as I mentioned earlier, there's a lot of stuff here that you can use for good and evil. And the ninja especially has a lot of those things. So are you going to use your ninja powers for good or your ninja powers for evil? For good means you're, you're building your business and making your business the best it can be. And it doesn't matter what anyone else does then. The ninja knows the shortcuts and hacks to winning. You know, some of the ninja wisdom that will be discussed and shared in this part of the offering, customers vote with their wallets. Whoever gives customers what they want most wins. Customer cash equals business cash. A repeat customer is cheaper than a new one. I know we all know this on some level, but we all chase new customers. I, I don't know why, but we do when one repeat customer is 10 times more valuable than a brand new customer. I guess we all know it, but we don't always live that way. The Ninja and this system, the Customer Catcher system, helps you to live that way. And that's one of the reasons your, your business now thrives and becomes so much more profitable. Customer is not always right. I share some wonderful stories of uh, our past experiences with this one and lessons learned. All customers are not created equal. And that's why it's imperative that you decide and you choose who you want your best and ideal customers to be. You can pick and choose your customers and your business is entirely up to you. It's up to you to, to set the tone for your business and decide what you want it to be, how you want it to be, who you want to serve and how you want to serve them. Again, what are you gonna get? Six-week Customer Catcher Masterclass, a $4,997 value. The Customer Catcher Software and ClickFunnels Trial, $3,564 value. Customer Catcher Killer Communications, $1,997 value. Customer Catcher Ninja, a $1,997 value. For a total value of $12,555. The Ninja helped me put 107 people into our Customer Catcher in 45 days. We focused on the customer's experience and made sure it was amazing. Making sure people have a great time at our place keeps them coming back for more. That and the world's best desserts. Kevin Johnson. And... The last thing you need, what what else do you need? What can we get you to make this a no-brainer? How about a competition eraser? Customer Catcher's competition eraser is the last bonus. Who else wants to make their competition disappear? I'm talking disappear figuratively, not literally. Again, the good versus evil thing. With the Customer's Catcher competition eraser, if you do exactly what we do, You'll leave your competition and your competitors eating your dust. Competition erasers go after your best customers only. Give them exactly what they want. You value them, acknowledge them, pay attention to them, and the game's over. Competition becomes irrelevant. Well, you might be thinking, won't my competitors get mad? Well, they might. And I have some really good stories to share with you about that, that um, are lessons we learned from. 
And if they get mad or try to get even, that says more about them than it does about you. But we'll discuss that in detail. Um, again, people are going to talk. People are going to talk about you no matter what. People are going to talk about your business no matter what. So why not be in control of what they're going to talk about and make sure it's what you want them to be talking about? Uh, my friends and family are going to think that I'm doing something illegal like um, selling drugs or, or having prostitutes or hookers in the back room. Well, I contend that your family and friends know you well enough to know that you're not doing anything like that. Unless, of course, you are. And then that's a whole other story. But they'll know you well enough. It's kind of like the whole there's no such thing as can't thing. And people telling you when you start your business or when you start something new or set a big goal, they're worried for you. They're concerned for you. But then when you show them and you start succeeding, everybody wants to be a part of your success. Everybody wants to... You know, bask in the glory of what you've achieved. And, and your family and friends will stand behind you. Once they see that you've, you're making it happen, they'll be happy for you. And then the other concern that you might be thinking is, you know, what if? What if the environment changes? What if the rules change? What if the laws change? What if something bad happens? Well, all of these strategies and all of these things that you learn in Customers Catcher, they help to make you resilient, make you bulletproof, so you don't have to worry about what, what happens around you. You know that you'll always land on your feet. You have the confidence and the courage to do whatever it takes to be successful because you know that you'll always figure it out. The competition eraser was just what I needed for my restaurant clients. The customer's catcher has allowed us to reallocate people to higher return activities. Now one person manages customers for all our sites, 22 and growing. We used to have one person per location. Kevin Johnson. So what you're going to get, six-week Customer Catcher Masterclass, a $4,997 value, Customer Catcher Software and ClickFunnels Trial, $3,564 value, the Customer Catcher Killer Communications, a $1,997 value, Customer Catcher Ninja, a $1,997 value, the Customer Catcher Competition Eraser, a $1,997 value for a total value of $14,552. So if all this did was finally get you just 10 new customers a day, minimum $39,000 extra income a year, would it be worth it? If all this did was help you to share your place with more people, the reason you started your business, your dream business, your restaurant, your bar, with, with more people, would it be worth it? If all this did was give you the ability to cancel all the monthly tools that you're currently using to glue together your customer catcher activities and your customer handling activities, assuming that you're doing something, would it be worth it? If all this did was let you get some things off your plate so you can actually enjoy the reason or reasons that you started your business in the first place, would it be worth it? I had two choices as I was putting this offer together for you. First option was to go as cheap as possible, try to sell as many as possible, but there really wasn't much incentive by going that direction in offering the customer catcher for y'all, especially since I put so much of my life and time and energy into creating this for my businesses. So my second option was requires a little bit more investment, but in exchange, I can devote more resources to guarantee your success. What's getting customers to come to you on autopilot worth to you? There's only three ways to make more money in any business, not just in restaurants and bars, but in any business. That's to get new customers coming to your place, sell more to your existing restaurant and bar customers, increase the amount that the customers are spending or the frequency at which they spend. How much would you pay to get this happening for your place automatically? Because that's what Customer Catchers does. This one cost me $429,450, but it made me $797,981 in one day and millions of dollars up until that day. There's a story with this, but you'll hear about it in, in uh, the master class if you join me. It's too long to go into today, but it was uh, one of the biggest lessons of my life. So you can see why people are paying us $25K plus 10% of the profits up front up to $250,000, a quarter of a million dollars to set the customer catchers up for them. So you can see why it's a good deal at $5,000 and it's the price is $29.97 for the general public. But because you're here today and we're doing a special and we're turning this into a step-by-step -step master class, you can get started now for just $9.97 today. 
You can get started at www.customercatcher.com slash go. So again, here's what you're going to get. Six-week Customer Catcher Masterclass, $49.97 value. Customer Catcher Software and ClickFunnels Trial, $35.64 value. Customer Catcher Killer Communications, a $19.97 value. Customer Catcher Ninja, $19.97 value. Customer Catcher Competition Eraser, a $19.97 value. It's a total value of almost $15,000. $14,552 real value. In addition to all this, if you act today, you're going to get lifetime access to our private Customer Catcher Facebook group. You get it free with your investment today. Normally we charge between $49 and $69 for this because of the incredible value. This is where we do a lot of our um, trying and testing of new strategies and techniques. And so our customers have found it really valuable. But if you join us today, you're going to get lifetime access for free. So you can do it now or you can do nothing. Now you have two choices. I had two choices in creating the offer. Now you have two choices. Your first option is to do nothing, not take this little leap of faith, which is 100% risk-free, by the way. And your second option is to pony up the small investment today compared to all the value that you'll get in return and just give it a shot. And I have a, a real fundamental belief that if I can't make you money and that this if this isn't something that would benefit your business, then I don't deserve yours. And that's why I offer a... 100% 30-day money-back guarantee, no questions asked. You sign up today. If you don't like it for any reason, and I don't care if it's 29 days, 23 hours, and 59 minutes from now, just let me know, and we'll give you your money back. I want to make sure that you're happy and satisfied, and this is really benefiting you and your business. The real question is, is it worth gambling a few minutes of your time to check this out? which if it does even half of what I claim today in this training, will pay for itself as soon as you get your first customers coming to your place on autopilot. Again, what you're going to get, six-week Customer Catcher Masterclass, a $4,997 value. Customer Catcher Software and 14-day free trial of ClickFunnels, a $3,564 value. Customer Catcher Killer Communications, a $1,997 value. Customer Catcher Ninja, a $1,997 value. And Customer Catcher Competition Eraser, a $1,997 value. Total value, $14,552 for $9.97 today. And just as a little added bonus and incentive for the first 17 people, I'm going to do a live weekly Q&A call. This will coincide with the first six modules of the master class, and you can get your specific questions answered on these one-time only live Q&A calls. Now, we will be recording these calls to put in the members area, but they will not, and we will not be doing them again live. I just don't have the time and the resources available to provide live Q&A support. So the, the value of this is priceless. The information will be there, but you'll never be able to get your specific questions answered again without uh, ponying up a lot more money and resources to work with me one-on-one -on -one in the future. So again, for the first 17 people only, this will be available. If you already have a successful restaurant or bar, but you're looking for more customers or a way to get your customer handling done on autopilot, or if you're struggling, you really need this. If you don't have a restaurant or bar yet, but you know there's one or more in your future, then start it off on the right foot. Go ahead and join us today. And frankly, if you have any type of business or you want to have one, then this is for you. I've shown you some powerful things today. The only way for you to exponentially grow your restaurant and bar with respect to sales and profits is through handling customers on autopilot. And the only way to automate your customer handling is through customers catcher. And again, I love this little graphic about your chances of success um, and how it goes up with your ability to make a decision and to make a choice. This is a quick recap page and I'm going to stay on the line. We've got a little countdown clock for about a half an hour and answer any questions that you may have to make this super simple and powerful for you. So if you have questions, go ahead and post them in the comments box and I will answer them one at a time as best I can.
one little cool thing that we've recently discovered, if you're thinking, you know, hey, 997, we got it, but, you know, it's a tough time of year for us from a cash flow standpoint. Really don't want to put it on a credit card. Um, PayPal, for United States customers only, offers a no payment, no interest, if paid in full within six months option for purchases of $99 or more. You can check it out with PayPal and choose PayPal credit if your, you know, credit's approved. You can actually get started today for absolutely zero and not have to pay any money or interest for six months. Can you imagine the power of that? You can go ahead, get started today for free, build your entire customer catcher, have it working in your organization for six months before you ever even have to pay the small investment of $9.97 today. How awesome is that? So again, thanks for joining us today. You can get started now for $9.97, a one-time payment of $9.97 at www.customerscatcher.com slash go. Don't delay. Start your customers catcher today. Get started now. www.customerscatcher.com slash go. Sorry, I couldn't resist. Have a great night. Thanks, everybody.